My name's Jalea Galvio and I'm 17 and I go to Los Fresnos High School. I like high jump, I would say that's like my number one. And then next would be long jump, triple jump, hurdles. When I was really little, my parents put me in gymnastics. Gio was my gymnastics coach and he's the one that taught me what kind of ethics I needed. Like I needed to put in the time, put in the, the discipline. I've come to know Jalea Calvillo uh, when she was in elementary. Third, fourth, fifth grader. She listened intently. Good little girl. Became very athletic. Uh, had to work around her height, her, her length of her legs. She's a tall girl, and she overcome all all those obstacles and turned out to be a pretty good uh, little gymnast. He really, I guess, had set like set up a good foundation for not just like my athletic career, but also for life. He taught me. A lot of things like hard work, dedication, that you have to put in a lot of time, commitment into the sport in order to get something, to hopefully get something out of it. She's always focused on school, always focused on her well-being, on her, her sport, and uh, making her parents proud, of course. He taught me that I needed to do that to be successful, and um, he not only did like taught me how to, well, what mindset to have as an athlete, but also uh, the basic skills I needed, like um, jumping, strength, um, speed. She got some power in her legs, and it's just it's showing now on the hurdles. A little bit of better training, and I think she'll excel at that. He's taught me a lot, like to believe and trust in your coaches, and whatever they tell you to do, you have to do it, and in the long run, it will help you. She's awesome at the hurdles. She just started, uh, I think, last year running hurdles. But more than anything, I would say the hurdles because of the stretching here, flexibility, the foundation of that, and the uh, high jump are her strongest points. It's, it's like a lot of jumping, flipping around. You're required to be up in the air and like control how you are, fight against, go against gravity. So I guess it really helped me with my like leg muscles and aware of like how your body is up in the air. That helps me a lot since I am a jumper and a hurdler, you have to go against gravity and you have to figure out what to do up there. The most competitive moment of my track career would be um, this past season when I had to compete at area because that was the first time they actually enforced the 10 minute rule going between events. So I was doing five events, going back and forth, and I was still able to, um, I came out with uh, two first place and I think the rest were silver. Second place, yeah. So I was going back and forth and I was able to go from high jump to triple and I was able to do a PR and break the area record for triple. And then that was day one and then there was still day two. Felt like I had a lot of stuff to do for the team, but I was able to do it and I was happy. The hardest part of being an athlete is doing it every single day practicing when um, you just don't want to like sometimes you just get bored with it and you just you ask yourself like why am I doing this I like it but is it really worth it and becoming like becoming a good athlete you have to overcome it and just say like you know what I just have to get through this I have to give 100% and somehow like it will come in it will be rewarded your hard work will be rewarded right now in high jump with summer track, I was able to jump 5'6", and that won me state for TAF in last year in summer track. And triple jump, I'm ranked, I think, like fourth in my region, and that was this past season with a 30, somewhere around a 36. And I was really happy because with that one, I just, I warmed up, and the first jump of the event, well, yeah, the first one for prelims, I popped out the 36. Uh, right now, my goals for college would just be to you know, get accepted into college and be able to finish like four years and maybe major major in something and get like a master's degree later on. Be able to also be a student athlete in college, I guess successful in balancing both and coming out with a degree at the end. I've known Julia for one season. Uh, I've heard many things prior to coming to Los Fresnos. Uh, that she was a great athlete. She has a lot of potential. She did have a lot of things on her plate as far as academics are concerned. So she really spread herself thin along with um, competing in more events than she was used to. 
Um, with that being said, she was very successful in all of her events this year. Um, it's just amazing the feats that she con that she accomplished this year. I mean, uh, coming from a college standpoint, Jalea has um, a lot of potential to make it to those ranks. It was just amazing having the the endurance that she has to be able to do such things. It, it's uncommon. Uh, right now in my class, I'm ranked number I think I'm 12. So. Um, but with that, I've had to take like a lot of AP classes and I've had to balance that out with, well, not just track, all my other academic and in-school extracurricular activities. So, um, you know, I've been taking AP classes, dual enrollment classes, and I'm very dedicated to it. Like sometimes I get home from whatever I was doing at school and I'm super tired. I, I want to go to sleep, but I have to, like, you know, tough it out, do my homework, study maybe hopefully eat in between. She's always been talented and it was just a matter of refining that talent and working on the little technical, um, you know, corrections. But aside from that, it's just been, it's been a, a very pleasant uh, process. It's been a great experience because she has matured, she has developed and with that maturity and development, the results have gotten better over the years. She was able to compete very well at the district meet place, make it to area, and actually eventually win the area meet. So she made it to regionals, coming off a stress fracture. That's probably my proudest moment of Jalea. It has to be her commitment to the sport, her commitment to her goals. She has, she from a very early age, she established a goal of competing in track and field at the division one level and she has not wavered from that goal and she's you know she's coming very close to it and then of course you know the discipline the discipline that it takes to perform when she needs to perform coach ben was the one that really taught me like everything i needed to know in track he's the one that taught me how to actually run the right way and jump the right way how to even get into blocks and that really helped me in middle school and i guess i could say that's when i really started um, getting better in track and it actually um, showed in when I would compete. And my high school coaches, uh, Coach Howard and Coach Sultan, Coach Wood, so many coaches, they were the ones that just in high school, it gets crazy with uh, athletics and academics, everything that's going on in high school. So they're the ones that taught me like, oh yeah, okay, look, you have to do this um, in order to be successful. They're the ones that kept me in line in with my academics. My dad really, he's the one that, you know, would, he's the one that gets involved in our sports. He's the one that takes us to practice, watches us practice. Um, that if we have a meet oh, in like, let's say Corpus or out of the Valley, he's the one that will take us, take the time off and take us. He's the one that basically just, if we tell him like, okay, I wanna be successful in this type of sport, I wanna go, I wanna give it 100%, he's the one that will jump on board with us and say, okay, I'll help you with that. And my mom, she's the one that's more like at the house, she's the one that um, feeds us, that makes sure we like go to sleep and all that stuff. She's the one that gives us that encouragement uh, at, a, at home, so it's like a balanced, that we get that uh, support outside of our house and inside our house. It doesn't come overnight. You have to work at it pretty much like all, every single day. Jalita is an individual that will give everything the coach is asking of her and then some. She'll never come late. She'll always be there at practice. Even if she's sick, she'll go to practice. We went like year round instead of summer and that's when I saw the um, feedback. That's when I saw good stuff coming because of the hard work I would put in. So you just have to keep on working at it. Um, when you do, you know, after years and years, it will pay off. If I were to tell a young athlete about like how to be successful, it would just be to, that hard work does pay off. You have to be committed. You have to be willing to go in there every single day, give more than 100%. And not just every, like just not Monday through Friday. We're talking about like Monday through Sunday, 24/7, the whole every single day of the year.